The Raj Phone 8 Pro teardown revealed some impressive engineering. Complex internal layout, the intricate arrangement of components showcases the challenges of packing powerful hardware into a compact form factor. Let's take a closer look. Since this phone has been repaired before, disassembly should be easier. First, heat the back cover using the magic self-heating pad for about 10 minutes. Then, use a prying card to slice through the adhesive around the edges. Applying some alcohol can make this process smoother. Insert a plastic thin sheet into the corner gaps. Do not insert too deeply to avoid damaging the cables. The process of opening the back cover is very smooth, except for a bit of effort on the corners. No resistance around the perimeter. Do not directly remove the back cover. It is still connected to the FPC of the light display matrix screen. Slowly lift the back cover from the power button side. The FPC is in the middle of the opposite edge. The BTB is pressed by a metal panel and secured by a screw. 8. After unscrewing and lifting the panel, disconnect the BTB to completely remove the back cover. The Raj 8 Pro supports IP68 level dust and water resistance. 9. A waterproof adhesive surrounds the inside of the back cover. Thick and strong adhesive with reinforced corners causing some obstruction. A wireless charging coil is added in the middle of the phone, supporting 15 West wireless charging. Disconnect battery connector. Pry up and remove two metal panels, disconnecting the BTBS underneath, and the motherboard is completely removed. The Raj 8 Pro motherboard is about half the size of a regular phone, with a dual-layer PCB structure and a heat-conducting copper pillar in between. The BTB bases are covered with waterproof adhesive on the front and back. 
The most noticeable chip on the front is a 16GB LPDDR5 XRAM from Hynix, with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor underneath. Nearby is a 512GB UFS 4.0 flash memory. Unscrew all the screws fixing the subboard area and remove the cover plate, revealing several small LDS laser antennas. The speaker is integrated into the cover plate, connecting via to contacts. The subboard is smaller than the upper speaker, with adjacent foam pads corresponding to the screen keys, headphone jack, and main and subboard FPC BTBS. Remove the SIM card tray, dual nano layer design. Take out SIM card reader. Take off charging port flex. This is advanced 3.5mm headphone jack. Unscrew the fixing screw in the upper left corner, pry up and remove the antenna board. Handle the remaining screws, use tweezers to pry up and remove the upper speaker. The upper speaker comes from AAC, adopting the 1216 specification. The LDS laser antenna extension can be seen on the edge and inside. The sound chamber serves as both the speaker and earpiece, with red rubber rings at the corresponding frame positions for protection. Disconnect the ultra-wide angle lens and 3BTBS below. Unscrew a fixing screw and remove the PCB, which integrates a noise-canceling microphone. Disconnect the BTB of the telephoto lens, which can be removed separately. Below it is a small metal cover plate fixed by screws. Unscrew and lift the cover plate to reveal the BTBS of the main and gimbal cameras.
After disconnecting, the main and ultra-wide angle lenses can be removed together. Disconnect the front camera BTB, and all four cameras are gathered. The main camera is a 50MP Sony IMX890 sensor, with a 1, 1.56 inch area and f, 1.9 aperture, supporting the OIS and 6 axis anti dash shake. Dot dot. The two batteries do not use pull tabs, but they are fixed quite tightly. Use a plastic pry tool to carefully pry them out. The battery uses a dual cell single interface design, with a total equivalent capacity of 5,500 mAh, supporting 65 West wired fast charging. Remove the side charging port. The vibration motor is fixed with adhesive and has a layer of cushioning foam on the adjacent frame. It is an ultra-wideband linear motor from AAC Technologies, model ESA-1016, which is the same model used in the previous Raj 7 series.